Oh, All right, so Trick asked an excellent question. Are all of my answers just going to be A times C? The answer is no, and we're going to see an example of such. You will have to check with the box soon. On 2n squared plus 3n minus 9, I'm going to put my 2, my a term, up above the here, and my negative 9 up above the x over here. They'll multiply together to get negative 18, and my b term is still positive 3. Can I add 2 and negative 9 together to get positive 3? No. no, I cannot. So that means the answer to my puzzle is going to be another, fa another factor pair of negative 18. That is not 2 and negative 9. 6 and negative 3. I hear 6 and negative 3. Where is my 6 going to go? It's going to go under the 2. And my negative 3 is going to go under the negative 9. <laughs> I still don't get it. You took common Oh, I get it now. Pause, pause for a moment. Could I have put my 6 under the negative 9? No. Why not? But 6 and 9 share a common factor. But they're not. Do they? <laughs> yeah. But. Okay. Yes, Alexis? Your voice is off, eyes up. If they are not lined up, when we go and pull out our factors, you're not going to get, you're not going to be able to factor completely. So we haven't, we haven't touched on that part of the process yet. Yeah. This is just you guys getting familiar with solving these X puzzles. Nice. So I could have put 6 here because 6 and negative 9 share a common factor of 3. But do negative 3 and 2 share a common factor? No. No, they don't. So this is why the 6 has to go here and the negative 3 has to go underneath the negative 9. 